Welcome to Midday Australia, and at 17%, we're still in the money. Yes, join us today as we tap away your troubles with Nancy Hayes, Tony Lamont, and the whole cast of the smash hit musical 42nd Street. Plus, Jim Pike, Carlotta, and John Michael Hausen survives LA's latest earthquake. And now, please welcome your host, Ray Martin. What a morning it's been here. Great surprises in store for you today, a most fantastic show as well. Now listen, Jeffrey, there is a lady in the band. There certainly is. There is, Ray. We have a lady on French horn today. You've been querying that, worrying about that for years. So would you please stand up? That's Debbie on French oh, horn. Debbie. She's the best in the world. Oh. Debbie, welcome. Welcome. For five years we've been trying to get a woman into the band. We keep saying when Bob Buffett takes over, there'll be lots of women in the band. It's a breakthrough for, for women today. All right? And a great show for you. In the news today uh, is a Queensland alderman who wants to launch a beauty contest for enormous women. Uh, fair enough, you might say, except he wants to call it the Princess of Wales competition. Spelt W-H-A-L-E-S. Contestants will have to wear a black one-piece swimsuit and wallow at the water's edge, beaching themselves, he says. Alderman Ken Bennett of Harvey Bay in Queensland claims that it's not sexist, it's all a bit of fun, he says. He went on to say, uh, and we don't want Greenpeace pushing anyone back into the water. <laughs> oh, God. Dreadful. Bring back dwarf throwing, I say. It's almost more dignified. Aww. There will be no fat jokes around here today because uh, they don't come any slimmer or any better or more dynamic than the fabulous tap-dancing cast of 42nd Street. So just for you today, let's all forget uh, interest rates and recessions and overheating bucking bronco economics and fantasise for a moment. The musical that's run for nine years on Broadway was a smash, of course, in London. It's just op opened uh, off-Broadway here in Sydney. In fact, it's going to break all records uh, for a musical in Australia. Never before seen on television. In fact, the producers never allowed it to be done on a television studio in Britain or America before. So it is an absolute first. Would you please welcome the sensational cast as they perform Where in the Money? 40 seconds. <laughs>
Apologies. Oh, that was just wonderful. People in the cave. Joe, I just give you a little more cruel, but you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you've been in a sauna. What a workout! Funny though. Gosh, that's good. Now this is this is. Uh, there are forty sets of legs here. Talking while you catch yeah, your breath. Keep talking. This, I'm told, if you go back to uh, the so-called great days of riding in Australia, there's never been matched. We've never actually put on Australian television no. this many dancing legs. No, it's, I think it's the first, and so many tappers. Yeah. There's been lots of numbers with big dance numbers, but not so many tappers. Fantastic. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be used to it. I oh. thought you worked out so many times. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Oh. <laughs> now, was it, did you have trepidation about coming in here off the stage? Sure, it makes a big difference. I was just saying to one of the guys before, you feel, especially on this thing, which I've come off before. <laughs> we won't talk <laughs> no, about that. No, we won't that, talk we? about that. But on stage you feel a lot higher, so it's actually easier. Is it? Yeah. Oh, we should have made it more difficult yeah, for you. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful being here. It's just so this wonderful... All I can hear is deep breathing. Yeah. <laughs> Heavy breathing. You look fantastic. Just fantastic. Thank you for this and thanks for the effort. I know after you uh, do it at night to come around and have to do it in the morning rehearsals uh, is tough, but we appreciate it. That's I'm sure true. everyone out there, uh, three million or so people watching, appreciate it. We'll have more, uh, two more numbers from 42nd Street. Congratulations. I have seen the show and it is fabulous. Wherever you are, you should get to see it. The fantasy continues. Uh, We'll take a break. We'll talk to Carl Otter about Delay Girls. We'll come back with uh, other performances next. Thank you all very much. You see, it's so simple. Well, I'd like you to do that again. Again? One, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. I haven't got my taps on, but you can see it. <laughs> Nancy, I don't think I could do that. You see, I have a show with you and 44 of the world's best tappers. I don't think I could compete. Oh, have a go. Unless you are, you're trying to set me up so that so you're sick of me. <laughs> not at all. Show. You're not trying to teach me so I'll audition for another show. <laughs> well, you only if you, you do, Ray, will you come and audition with me to the next musical uh, on in Sydney? Tap dancing? Yes. Y yes, all right. Let's do you think you could, Ray? I can't, but go on. Now, here, I'll show you again. <laughs> and a one, this is a soft shoe. It's very simple. Two left feet. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Come on, do it. <laughs> I'm a producer. Well, they say if you smile a lot, they won't get to your feet. That, so smile. Wave your arms <laughs> Look a lot. up here. <laughs> Wave your arms a lot. Now, have a go. No, I can't. <laughs> Let's come and sit down. <laughs> Oh dear, I, I failed you in your first lesson. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, you'd fail in my last one as well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nancy Hayes, of course, is the star of the show, and Helen Montague is the producer of the show. Would you please welcome her, lovely. Thank you for that. Now, the reason I asked you is that I understand, Helen, despite the fact that you, you're an inspiration behind this marvellous cast, mm -hmm. that you have never tap danced, you've never even had a lesson. No, that's absolutely right. I believe it's something we do have in common. Is that not <laughs> absolutely <fair? laughs> right? And lots of, now, do you sing in the in the shower? I also have to reveal to you, I can't sing a note. Not one. <laughs> <laughs> I should be sitting over there. Do you want to swap places? Totally. Now, the other thing about it too, Nancy, is that it is a wonderful show. I mean, I'm not in the business of saying uh, of that if I don't believe it. I, I just thought it was marvellous. Um, but I, but you regret the fact that although you've spent a lifetime tap dancing, you, you watch all these other wonderful tap dancers, you don't get a tap dance yourself. No, I don't dance in 42nd Street. The storyline is that Dorothy Brock is not a dancer. But it doesn't say I can't have a go in the wings, you see. When they're all tapping away, I unleash my frustration with it and have a bit of a dance. Do you really? Yes, of course. Oh, they're so wonderful. You've got to join them. Well, they are wonderful, and they're all young and they're all Australians. Yes. Where did you get them from? From all, from all over Australia. When we first came here, to cast the show, quite a number of people said, oh, you will not find uh, m as many tap dancers in Australia as you're used to finding in England and in America. And this turned out to be far, far, far from the truth. The best dancers that we've ever had in the show are here in Australia, as perhaps you saw a little of it th today. Now, you're not, just, you're not being jingoistic. No, no, no. It's because of your... No, because birth. I was concerned with the London production and, of course, was very fond of the dancers there. But here, there's more electricity and more excitement in the dancing than anywhere else in the world. There is that, I mean, what Graham Murphy talks about for the City Dance Company, the Australian Opera as well, is that, that athleticism and the youth and vitality mm. that comes mm. out so strongly, isn't it? Well, most mm. of the chorus are very young, and most of them have been tap dancing since they're about three years old. So <laughs> what is the average age then? Of the course. I'm sure about 16, 17, 18. 16, it seems 16. to me. <laughs> <laughs> All I know, it's very young indeed. 
And what about the audience reactions then, Nancy? Oh, well, it's, it's terrific to do this show. The audiences are having such a good time because you've got a score that you can, everyone could practically sing along with. I mean, it's one hit number after another. And the spectacle of it, the, the costuming and everything. I mean, it's, it's a musical again, the great musical comedy feel. Are you conscious of, uh, of the enormity of the cast and the enormity of the production? Well, yes, and particularly when we did our production week, we got, there's a production going on backstage as well as on stage, oh. and learning how to get all those costume changes done and the wigs put on, you really had to learn where not to be or where to be at the right time. So that took quite a bit of doing. What about running out... Uh on stage with the wrong costume oh, wrong with. I'm sure that was about to happen. There's one particular part in the show which is a number called Dames and all the girls come out in these fabulous rainbow coloured evening gowns. Well it was, I, I actually stand at the back while that is happening and it was like a flock of birds. I've never seen so much colour running backwards and forwards and dresses running with pieces of costumes. Some people were missing it and of course it was instilled into us because it was production week and technical time not to get hurt because that's the time when you rush that something can happen. But everyone, as a performer, you're so busy wanting to get on there and not miss your cue that it was, uh, it was quite hectic there for a while. I thought I'll just sit calmly at the back here and let this all go on in front of me. Yes, well, it, uh, it, it, you look calm, but of course the, uh, the production itself is not calm. The production is simply frenetic, isn't it? The production it is, is uh... and it, it rolls along. I mean, it's, it's speedy and happy, and, and there's no time for, for, you know, it seems to me it starts and it's over, yes. and, and it's, there's no dull moments in it at all. There's a lust for laughs at the moment, and uh, I think out in Australia, and uh, certainly it's there with 40 seconds. Would you like to go and get yourself ready, sort of just clear your tonsils? And, I would be uh, to delighted. To do your number. Thank and, you. And uh, Nancy, and we'll just... And we'll get you to set it up. The, the interesting thing about the costumes and so on, quite clearly, often to me looking at it, it seems there's costume changes just for a change of pace and just a change of scenery almost. It's, uh, yes, it's a marvellous colour. Yes, I think it's the last of the big old-time Broadway shows where they have thousands of costumes and glitter and glamour and razzle-dazzle. It's that sort of show. So, of course, the costume change and all the costume changes are all part of that old-style Broadway musical. It's quite clear you hate it. Oh, I hate it, yes. No, I love this show, and I've always... I don't mind watching it every night of my life. I think it's just the most wonderfully exciting and vibrant show. Would you like to set up this number by Nancy? Yes. Uh, this number is in the second act. Nancy conveniently breaks her ankle in the f end of the first act and allows the young girl who is uh, in the chorus to take over her part and become a star. The director of the show says you're going out a youngster but you've got to come back a star and indeed she does and just as she's going on stage Nancy Hayes in her role as the previous star comes in and tells her that she used to hate her but now she loves her because she herself has found happiness in marriage and asks the girl if she might show her how to do this lovely song and the girl sits there and listens to Nancy telling her how to sing this very sweet number. All right, Nancy Hayes and Leonie Page who was also marvellous with the quarter to nine. Somebody's eyes look into your own Life begins when you get your guy all alone From morning until twilight I don't know I'm alive But I know love begins at 8.45 The star twinkle and shine this evening about a quarter to nine his love and I are gonna tenderly twine around me about a quarter to nine I Cause at half past eight I'm gonna hurry there I'll be waiting where the lane begins Waiting for him on needles and pins And then the world is gonna be mine This evening about a quarter to Him 
on needles and pins. About a quarter to send lots of gorgeous girls, lots and lots of gorgeous gals. If you haven't booked your seats, jump on the back of the queue because uh, you shouldn't miss it. It is just terrific. No matter where you've got to come in Australia, go and see it. So let's finish off uh, a fabulous day of song and dance with another great number. Would you please welcome a good mate of ours, Tony Lamond, Leonie Page and the 42nd Street Dancers with Go Into Your Dance. luckiest ones in the whole darn business. So what if you had a little bad luck this a.m.? You've got all you need to cheer you up right there at the end of your ankles. If you've a melancholy case of the blues, I've got a remedy for you. If there's an ounce of rhythm down in your shoes, and I'll change your point of view If you can sing in a sad and blue song Go into your dance Until you learn how to sing a new song Go into your dance Don't be the Learn how to smile And if it's rain
Wednesday, 8.30. We thank uh, Tony Leone and, of course, uh, our lovely producer and all the cast. Of, and uh, David King is also the musical director. Thank oh, yes. you, David. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. We have Peter Scott and a whole bunch of the of our regular uh, members of the Midday Show Orchestra who are playing in the orchestra at the 42nd Street. Who, Indeed. Again, they are amongst the uh, the best in the in the nation of that, as these dancers are. Thank you. I know that uh, normally the matinees are Wednesdays, aren't they? That's correct. So to put a matinee on a Tuesday, I know, is an extra effort. We appreciate it, and certainly people in hospitals and around the country who may not be able to make it will appreciate it. Um, but those who can make it, uh, I'll say to Tony a moment ago, I can't imagine anyone uh, coming to the movie, coming to this uh, production and not loving it, not just liking it, but not just loving it. Would you agree? It's, uh, oh, uh, I would definitely. <laughs> yes. And you're not board. biased, are you? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not biased at all. It was, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Leanne, are you enjoying it? I mean, you really are... Loving it. Every minute of it. It's fabulous. Well, it's... Uh, it's a big stage, but uh, you still stand out there. You absolutely glow on stage there. Oh, so thank it's you. Terrific. Quite exquisite. <laughs> As the dancers do down there, you would never know that uh, what you were saying earlier, Helen, about uh, how young some of these dancers are. They, uh, they dance like veterans and uh, look as beautiful as, uh, as youngsters. We thank you again very much indeed for that. Tomorrow on the show, we move on, of course. They've got to go to do the show tonight. And uh, you can catch them for forever, I guess. I guess the show will go forever. Here. Thank you. Fingers crossed, yes. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right. It is well worth it. Tomorrow on the show, we've got Dr. Hang Noor, who is, the, uh, in fact, the star of that uh, uh, Academy Award winning movie, The Killing Field. He's going to be here. Julie Covington, again, talking about the uh, marvelous singers in Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. She's the new Evita, of course. She's going to be on the show. Glenn Nicholas, the uh, wonderful Australian comic, is on the show. Just another midday show. We thank you all very much for this. Thank you for watching. We'll see you for lunch tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Bye bye. <laughs> from Weiss Brothers City Store, and we choose to fly Singapore Airlines. This has been a National Nine Network production. Peter Brennan speaking.